the good old horror genre, uh, one of the most common stories written by students are horror and comedies. Um, horror can be a very fun genre to write, but also very challenging because it's coming up with new ideas or new scenarios, not regurgitating uh, what you see on screen. Um, again, like with the other genre stories, go ahead, listen to this lecture. If this is something you want to write about, go ahead and study horror films for each of your assignments. Horror preys on our fears simply what it does. That's what it's there for. Effective horror preys on our most primitive fears. These most primitive fears are fears of the unknown. When you look at something like um, um, they, a uh, horror film, uh, the unknown is what's abducting people. No one knows. It's these little monsters that kind of come out of the closet. So the unknown of that, powerlessness. You want to make a, an effective horror story. You take power away from the main characters. And if you look at Jaws, that takes complete power away from the main characters. And it also looks at it um, is, we don't know what it is for a good chunk of the story. We, yeah, we kind of know it's a shark, but how big is the shark? Um, is there more than one shark? Um, is it going to leave? Is it going to stay around? Alienation is another primitive fear. Um, you look at something like Hostel, the American character is very alienated. And um, again, that also focuses on the, the fears that I've already talked about. Uh, dehumanization, um, taking somebody and knocking them down to the lowest peg on the, on the pole. Uh, the recent film Wolf Creek did that uh, as long as it took away power from the main characters. And the more of these that you focus on, the more effective your horror story will be. And then, of course, mutilation and death. We're all afraid to die. We're all afraid of being mutilated. Um, one of the scariest things is, for me is if I see in the film somebody holding you know, a knife right up to somebody's eye, that's obviously focusing on mutilation and death. Horror plays with these fears to terrify, horrify, and to gross out the audience. Um, modern horror has gotten a little bit more towards grossing out the audience um, than anything else. The audience expects to face fears from their seat, so it's okay to, to, to write about things that are kind of dark and deep and seedy uh, in the horror genre. The root of horror, again, is powerlessness. Um, man seeks order and structure and understanding in their world, and when you take that away, you no longer have power. Horror can give chaos by putting people into an unpredictable world. The second act of all horror stories is an unpredictable world. You want to introduce the characters, and what makes horror effective is when you get the audience to connect the, with the characters in the first act, as opposed to, hey, look at all these dumb teens. Now they're going to smoke, drink, have sex, and we all know what's going to happen. Um, but we want to make that second world, that, that second act, a very unpredictable world. Uh, nothing is as it should be in the special world, which is that second act. Um, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, you look at something like Halloween, that second act, that special world, even though it's a s simple street, we don't know who's going to die. We don't know what's going to happen, and especially when you look at that in the context of the time it came out, where we didn't really have slasher films yet, um, it becomes very notable. There are three types of horror stories. The first is that man battles an outside monster that has come to pay a visit. This can include demons, vampires, diseases, alien visitors, monster sharks. Jaws would obviously fit into this category. Man can create the monster, seemingly with good intentions, that gets out of hand and must be destroyed. Jurassic Park, The Fly, and Frankenstein all fall under this category. Um, Jurassic Park and Jaws, when you look at those two, they combine a, a number of different type of genres. Um, genre hybrids, which we won't get into at this point. Uh, or three, man is the monster. These stories address the wickedness of man. Man confronts the dark side of his nature. The hero can face a shadow within himself, or his evil may be externalized or personified. Something like um, Silence of the Lambs can fall into this, where Hannibal Lecter is a personification of the evil of man, or even Halloween. The special world in horror is not something the hero willingly enters. They're kind of forced into it. Yes, they may go to Camp Crystal Lake, but they're there to be camp counselors, and then they're forced into this world of, of danger and chaos. The goal of the hero is simply to escape this world, to get out of it. And Hostel, the main character, just has to get out of the, the, the torture facility. Uh, continual loss of escape constantly happens, and that's what creates drama and horror is you keep taking away the, the possibility of escape. You know, the second a character looks like they're going to get away, boom, something happens. And the hero must confront the monster in this special world. Um, it can, can start to confront them at the start of the uh, second act, or it may happen more at the end of the second act, and that's what we see with Hostel, where towards the end of the second act, he finally has to confront the dark and evil world that he's entered. It takes many calls to push the hero on the journey. The hero is typically very reluctant. If the hero isn't a loner in the horror genre, they will soon be. Um, 
Each loss of allies heightens the stakes because there's no one else to turn to. The hero's tool consists of lessons of the slain and the courage of the hero to survive what is going 